have the dynamics of San Antonio, the beautiful culture that it is, um, the, the diversity that there is here. That's why I chose San Antonio to be my home for my children, because I didn't want them to experience the things I had experienced in my life in other places. And um, I found out that I had to admit to myself that being a military person, I lived totally different than, than the rest of my community did. And having to leave my house and be a part of the community opened my eyes to the fact that, you know, um, it's my duty to, to service. It's my duty to, um, to help those who need. And I shouldn't be comfortable in my home when people are in the streets suffering. And right now, those people are our black residents. Those people are our marginalized Latino residents. Those people are our marginalized white residents. Those people are our marginalized indigenous residents. Those people are our marginalized Asian residents. Because one thing that we also forget in this whole thing is that when coronavirus hit, our Asian community was under attack. They were accused of bringing the China virus here. We found crime happening within the Asian community, and they're afraid in their own homes. These are the types of things that we want to get ahead of. These are the types of things we want to be at the forefront of. We should not be comfortable until we all can be comfortable. Free James or Anita East Innister. Please mistake an identity for the same color jeans and same color shirt, same color skin, please, and same color height. In Jesus' name, Mama needs you. In the name of Jesus, amen.